We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Yeah, we should. I actually think I want to leave these guys, you know, out here doing their own thing. Killing people and taking their stuff. I think we should put an end to it right here, Vasco. Alright, Vasco. Let's take the trash out, shall we? Alright Vasco, let's take care of these guys. Oh, but I need to heal. one left. Go get him, buddy. Get them. Shoot ha Oh, no, he's calling it. I am not shouting pew 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 just because you missed Barrett. Not happening. Uh oh, I only got 18 rounds left. Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, I'm out. Eh, uh, okay, Eon. Come on, I only need you to hit one. There we go. Alright, let's grab our loot and get out of here. Oh, a med pack, nice. Gonna need that. Grendel. And, ooh, skip shot modified Equinox. Nice. Alright then. How do we go over here? I have no idea. Let's fix the whole weapon situation here. Oh. Oh, you just have a long battle. Eh. What's the difference other than value and mod? Uh, more accurate. Okay. Let's swap you out. And we'll add you. 
to there. Uh, did I find anything else? A bashing Eon. Mm, probably going to sell that. Definitely selling that. All right. I have a um no. All right. Hi. I think we can get down this way. Maybe. And we have low gravity on our side. Yep, there we go. Oh, hello. Nice. Let's check this out. Oh. Sniper rifle. Laser style. Right. Can I get... Can I get... The, oh. Down without breaking my leg? Yes, I can. Okay. Have we got dead pirates over here somewhere? And they've got loot. Where was I shooting them from? Over there. So they should be up here. Aha! You have nothing. Why do you have nothing? Who came along and looted you? There's the other one, there he is. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, was there anybody else or was that it? Was it just three of them? Or was there, was there four? Why did I get a weird feeling there was four of them? Hmm. One, two, three. I could have sworn I killed one, or I killed two, and then I saw another one appear after I. Oh, maybe not. Alright, Vasco. Let's get back to the ship. Okay. Let's go! We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. The planet of Jemison. Yep, that's I will keep what we're your doing. items safe, Captain. I just need to know what you're hauling. Okay, uh, space suits. You've got a pack, you've got a helmet. A lot of apparel. You have notes. You have resources. And you have some miscellaneous junk. Alright. Hey Vasco, let's go. Uh, gonna dump this stuff in the cargo hold and then we're gonna head out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Or not. 
I just we need to jump here first. Hold on to your butts. Let's do it again, let's do it again! For scan. This is United Colonies Security. Maintain course and prepare to scan. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. All right. New Atlantis. Ooh, scan. You know, for a populated planet, there ain't many natural resources on it. I think they would have picked somewhere with more stuff. Okay. Uh, how do I put this thing down again? Uh, there we go. the space suit which is nice take the helmet and that off the helmet and the suit off all right we got to level up let's get that in boost pack train I think that's gonna be really helpful should probably take some stuff with me to sell, right? Let's see here. Yeah, let's get all these weapons out of here. Alright, let's go and see what we can get rid of. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. Why does everybody keep saying again? Vasco, I need to know the story about how Protocol Indigo was in in effect last time. Hello, ship services. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Oh, does that mean I don't have to lug the stuff to shops? I'd like to view and modify my ship. Would I? Yeah, no, we'll look at that Everything later. looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Sounds good. All right. Let's... Unload what we don't need. Okay then. I can so this is New Atlantis. This unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. 
They just took a different shot. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll just, uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority wow. you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter, and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for oh. your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Miss Good Bosch, luck scrubbing the toilets. Let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their alive. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. It kinda smelled. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no. Yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Free Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted, no questions asked. Even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. I like him. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. What? No, just ugh, go away. I don't like you. All right. If you need to give that guy a medal. That was a bubble beyond. Eh? Why? Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Thank you. And I should hope I don't have a bounty. All right. Let's take a wee look around and see what we have. Viewpoint. What's that? That's a bar. I don't really need a drink right now. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. I am not a stop. <laughs> uh, you better not start calling me fat, dude. Hello? If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Hi there. Hi. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Uh, let's see what you have. Oh, please, take a look. Okay, so you're selling... Wait, bad, bad stuff, actually. Eh. Alright, let's sell you some stuff then. Not from me, from the ship. All right. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Yep. Okay. Oh, coffee. I could use a coffee. Hi there. Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? I'd like to place an order. Certainly. Please take your time. All right. What do we have? Uh, Chunks, that's not coffee. Uh, a cappuccino, a classic. Katoga? Oh, steamed milk. Yeah. Espresso, latte, macchiato. Yeah, I'll have a macchiato. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hi. 
Okay, let's get that down one next. Where are we? Uh, there we go. <sighs> Nothing like some good coffee to keep you going. Like right. Apparently we're heading over here. Wow, this place is huge! Alright. Mass District. quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Okay. Hydroelectric. Well, at least they gave up common fossil fuels. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is going to take me a while to... Have a look around and see what's what, I guess. Yeah, apparently we need to head over this way. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Uh, way to put the pressure on, Vasco. You only get one chance at first impressions, you know. Alright, let's see if we can get this open. something bigger now and he hopes you'll make this place your home okay uh that's me all the phenomena we see out in the stars and what i'm saying is the most impossible theory you two keep going on like this and i'm banning wages i'm serious we'll play nice just a little friendly conversation sarah that's all <laughs> we appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, Why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? I kind of know it's the Explorers group. Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, who are you? Sarah Morgan. Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Uh. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, yes. Uh, pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. Yeah, it was messy. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter, 
And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? And there's bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not, Ooh. wasn't in doubt. We're just full damage. Do you expect us to believe in fairy tales? If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Just put it right there. Right. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. It oh won't. my god, that's it. They're reacting. Uh... Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. Uh, yeah. You'll have a heart attack. Metal's not supposed to do that. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? Me. <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Um, sure. Uh, do I do have some questions. Uh, you want me in constellation, what does that mean? What's expected? Yeah. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Okay. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well... You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Okay. Alright, I'm in. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? Ooh. You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Okay. Alright, then let's have a chat. Mateo. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. All right, uh, what brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. 
I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. <laughs> After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. So you tried to steal something that was stolen from you and got a job in the process. All right. Uh, what do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Uh, you think this was a religious experience, though? Uh, it's possible, but. All I know is I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I know it's important. I can feel it. Uh, if it meant something, I didn't understand it. It was definitely trying to show me something. I don't know if it would tell me something, but... Yeah, it's definitely it has important. to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data which means more artifacts. These artifacts all come out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Uh, it happens. All right, next chat, Matteo. I'll see you Take around. Take care of yourself. You too. Hi. Right. Who's this? Hello. Walter. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Yeah. No, uh, you know I've I've been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Alright, uh, I like that. At least you're able to admit, you know. Takes a big man to admit when he's made a mistake. Ah, uh, glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. All right. What kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Do you think the visions had... I had means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, no, the I'm only not one. sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Uh, 
Oh sure, I see lights and hear music all the time. <laughs> it's another stop party in my head. Uh, no. I haven't hit my head recently if that's what you're asking. You mean... Have I seen things like this before? I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Okay. What's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. <laughs> Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Mm. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. Okay. Nice to have met you, Walter. Until next time. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, sorry, Sarah. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone ready, just sort of accepts he'll be it fine. But still, still. Never ends, does it? yeah, it does seem like the type to get himself into trouble. Progress uh, Noel, hello. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Of course. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. I'm Noel. Yeah. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, let's see. Uh, how long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever. More than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. No, I'm sure he'll be fine. Seems like he can handle himself. Uh, the vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something an energy surge some other phenomenon okay um Barrett saw something too whatever I saw and heard it wasn't coming from me I believe that so there's a rational explanation this wasn't random synapse firing it means something sure yeah I'm not trying to suggest otherwise I wasn't there when it happened I'm just thinking it through. Oh, it's okay. I get now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Right. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. 
All right. Uh, you seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. All right. Uh, let me know how I can help you learn more. Yeah, well, sure. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Organic stuff, got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. All right. Do I? I may have... Anything I can learn from is a help. Uh... Apparently, I'll give you anything I've got extra of. Uh, eh? 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 Well, I've got a lot of sealant. It's toxin. All right. Cool. Uh, Sarah says something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. I trust Walter you're still satisfied. quite proud of the collection, constellation. but Mateo no. has made more than a few contributions. You've been an invaluable asset to the group. Gardens are out the doors there. Just wanted to make if sure you need a moment of quiet right. contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. All Sebastian right. Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city oh. have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in a sec, Vasco. I'm getting the tour. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now, okay. let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Uh, was that no Noel? Um, there's a creepy skull on the shelf, and some other trinkets. Oh, a model of a ship. Oh. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Thanks, Noel. Okay, so this is my room. Ooh, I got a room. Nice. Oh, I have a safe. With unlimited storage. Nice. 
anything I really want to keep I can put in here take watch case no that looks all right sitting there that's that's all good okay uh yeah, what time is it it is local time it's three o'clock too early to sleep though even though i could use one all right let's talk to sarah and vasco and then we're going to explore New Atlantis.